guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here at the 2023 edition of the Detroit Auto Show, and just late last night, Ford brought a big surprise. What is it? This is one of the surprises. This is it. This is a 2024 Ford F-150 Raptor R. But before we get into this refresh, updated, changed up, massive off-roader, let's talk about what's going on here. Ford is on a rampage, bringing out a redesigned Mustang, bringing out some new Mach-E vehicles, but guess what? They didn't forget about their bread and butter, the F-150. And one truck that is a performance standout is this Raptor R. They shocked the world. Not only did they bring back a V8, but they brought back a supercharged V8 into the Raptor, making it one of those top performance vehicles that's a truck of all time. Now for 2024, they made some changes. What I wanna find out, are they the right changes? And is this thing gonna be worth the price for a truck? Let's go ahead, let's dive in our 2024 Raptor R and find out. Right off the bat, you have that great aggressive stance. There's nothing that looks as off-road-esque as a Raptor. That's a production truck. And they continued to bring that style into our F-150 Raptor R. You'll notice that extra width. So not only is the Raptor R about performance underneath the hood, performance at all four corners, we're talking about that extra width, that extra style. So of course, we're gonna have that flared fender on the wide and front end, full LED lighting, and here's where we see the new touches. LED daytime running lamps, you'll notice that little intricate design, the Raptor R gets the bright yellow daytime running lamps. You're gonna have your double stuff, double stacked LED headlights, new headlight housing, and then as we work our way down, of course, our modular steel bumper, rigid LED fog lamps. You can take the little covers off, these covers pop off. They told us not to do that because they don't want somebody to have a five finger discount here at the Detroit Auto Show. And then as we come across the front, this is where it all kind of culminates at the front of the business is that redesigned grill. The Ford name displayed prominently. Of course, you have your auxiliary LED lights because of the extra width. We got the R badge because we do have that supercharged V8 goodness underneath the hood. Bright orange tow hooks to pull the Ram TRX out of the mud. And you're still gonna have active shutters to try to make this as efficient as possible for a supercharged pickup truck. Now working our way underneath, steel plating all the way back to protect the underside belly of this beast. And then when it comes to the suspension, they actually retweaked the Fox Livewire technology. And what is the Livewire technology? That's where it actually adjusts compression and rebound damping every single nanosecond. They update it, made it better. Now, as we rise up that hood with that massive heat extractor, love the boldness, and we have new optional graphics. So this is not standard. These are optional graphics that you can have applied to the hood and the side of the vehicle. Now, on that heat extractor, we still got the Raptor R badge. And then of course, what do we got going on? You're gonna have your off-road tires and wheels. So we have this new updated B-Lock wheel. That thing looks freaking amazing. Look at the way we have that satin black with the shiny metallic gray all the way around. We're gonna have those massive 37 inch good, uh, BF Goodrich KO2 tires, all the shielding, all the protection that you want plenty of wheel travel for a good approach and departure angles, or if you're jumping. Remember, when we were out for the media drive here in Michigan in the sand dunes, we were jumping these things and it was quite impressive. Rising back up, you're still gonna have your functional side fender vents. I like the way that they decided to take the graphic onto the front fender. That's the first time in Raptor history that I think that they've done something like that. And it's one of those things, I think it's either you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it, but I think it brings a nice little extra something something to the side of the vehicle. Now, still got color matched on the mirror caps, your 360 degree cameras. We have our down below Raptor specific running boards. They can be removed if you're going that extra mile, that extra distance. And as we keep working our way towards the rear, the Raptor R name, and then look at the way they took the graphic. Do you see what I see? There's the R logo within the graphic. Very nicely done. Lori's gonna zoom in and show the top right up here. You'll see our Fox Live Wire suspension with that wire technology. And then getting to the back of the vehicle, 
you'll notice new updated taillights, LED lighting, our Ford name all the way across, just like the grill, the Raptor R badge. We got a couple random screws, maybe a Ram TRX dropped these and uh, a Ford person picked them up. And then working our way down, we're still gonna have that active Ford Performance exhaust, gonna give us a nice loud rumble. Tow hooks, you got your spare, mounted up nice and high, full towing capability. And then of course, you have that nice drop, soft drop on our tailgate with our full bed liner. And then we have, of course, our Pro Power, plug in right there, boom, boom. And we also have the all new, look at this, I like this, it's a hidden Twinkie compartment. You could put a gallon size amount of Twinkies in there. And it is weatherproof, which is nice. So that's a very nice touch. But why don't we go ahead, I know you wanna see it. Let's get to the interior and see what is new for 2024 and the Raptor R. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 Raptor R. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I missed it the first time around. I wanna get one of these. I'm loving the changes. How much is it? Of course, starting MSRP is gonna be well over $100,000. No official pricing yet, but guaranteed it's gonna be over $100,000. Is it worth the price? Let's see what they did to the interior, to the door panels. So you're gonna find that same great design for 2024. Look at the way they did the carbon fiber style up top. The stitching, the piping. I like the updates, especially that Alcantara material in the center there. Orange stitching on the armrest. Some satin black, which still, Lori's gonna show, has the greasy fingerprints. So if you've been eating Kentucky Fried Chicken and you've been off-roading, you're still gonna get the greasy fingerprints. We do have our Twinkie tray, of course. And then down below, we have massive compartments for all your snacks. You could easily put two Renfest turkey legs in there and a couple bottles of ginger ale. Now going from the door panel to the dash, there's more of that carbon fiber style design, new for 2024, the orange stitching, the soft material. Come on in, all F-150s get a 12 inch infotainment system. I'm at the auto show, I can't turn it on right now, but we will when we do the drive. Full functionality and all the buttons and knobs, heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, and then of course we have all our connectivity, which is nice, home power source, wireless charging, USB-C and a USB-A in there, and then look, it closes, there's the carbon fiber. I'm digging that. Two cup holders, perfect for my mic. You got your Slim Jim holder, the orange stitching. You could of course fold this down if you need to do some work, or you could keep it up and have the on-throttle fun. New Raptor badge on the armrest with the stitching. Of course, this does flip open. I'm not gonna do that. You could watch my other reviews and then the seats. This is the crescendo of the interior. Look at that interior with the Raptor R embroidery, microfiber material, bolstering, full power assist for the passenger. And then of course, full power assist for the driver and a panoramic sunroof. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this 2024 Raptor. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. Of course, this is a Ford Performance product. Remember, a long time ago, it used to be SVO, then it became SVT. Still Ford Performance. You do have all your seat controls to make yourself as comfy as possible while you're off-roading. Steering wheel, we got changes for 2024. The leather, I like the way they did the top dead center. Same color material, orange stitching, the R badge, the carbon fiber, magnesium paddles, not plastic, not tin, not aluminum, magnesium paddles for that 10-speed automatic and your standard 12-inch digital gauge cluster. We'll show you more of that on the first drive. And we have a head-up display, first ever Raptor to have a full head-up display. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat because we need to wrap it up from Detroit. All right, guys, you've already seen the back seat of many F-150s, but I just want to briefly show you while we're here how the material continues from the front to the back. You still got all your connectivity, your AC vents. The only thing I'm going to zonk is at this price point, you should have ventilated rear seats, but boy, oh boy, the rear seats do look good. Everybody gets a Raptor R embroidery badge, but it's vehicles like these that people come to the auto shows for, this high performance truck, car, whatever it is, but let me know what you think down in the comment section. Has Ford created the special sauce, that recipe, the perfect list of things that they changed on this F-150 
Raptor R to make it the one that you want to buy? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we need to thank Lori, busting her butt on that camera. Show us some love in the comment section. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.